you are watching similar tutorial and today we are going to see how to implement for loop in MATLAB script so let's start first of all I am going to initialize a column vector a with five rows so it will be five by one of data type double so a is equal to zeros in bracket five comma one terminate the statement by semicolon enter so initializing it will give us five zeros so if i run just this code let's see what we get so you can see here the variable a has five zeros which is a column vector okay so next what we are going to do is implement for loop so to do that type for okay so as we know what for loop is it takes same action for the maximum number of iteration so we need the initial and final value of the iteration so for i is the iteration variable is equal to 1 colon 5 since the column has size of 5 so the iteration will go from 1 to 5 one more thing when you write for i is equal to 1 to 5 you can do one more thing that add one more colon and give the step size so if i give 0 0.5 then this iteration will increment with the size of 0 0.5 so in the first iteration i will be 1 but in the next iteration it won't be 2 but it will be 1.5 then 2 then 2.5 and so on till 5 okay so as of now we need the step size to be 1 so we are not going to write anything here since by default the MATLAB takes the step size as 1 okay then enter so next the ith location of a will have some value so I want it as a of i that is ith location of a is equal to i into 5 semicolon enter so in MATLAB for loop ends with the keyword end so type end once you are done with the actions that needs to be taken in for loop so save the script and run the file so if you double click on the variable a now you can see here the initially it was five zeros but now the output is in the multiple of five so five ten up to twenty five I'm closing this variable okay so one more thing to remember is that in C code sometime we start iteration with i is equal to 0 but MATLAB throws an error so you need to start from 1 so let's just start with 0 okay run so you can see here that subscript indices must be either real positive integers or logicals so that's why we need it to start from 1 okay so next how to implement nested for loop so it is similar to C but not as complicated as C so to do that for J is equal to 1 to 5 this is the first for loop then the nested one which will be the inside of the first for loop so for k is equal to 1 to 5 and the repetitive action that I want to take in this for loop is that b of j comma k is equal to j into k semicolon and the inner for loop then enter and end the outer for loop okay now save the file and run so you can 
see the variable b as multiplication of i and j so it is as per the what i had calculated so that's how you implement for loop in matlab script so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching